Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be doing a review of the DJI Mini 2 drone. I've been using this for over a year now and I love this drone. It has a really good 4K sensor in there. Um, I know the Mini 3 came out recently and it's got a very good camera as well. Much better than this one. It has the 48 megapixel camera, but this one is still very good because when you're up high, you're gonna have perfect lighting, depending if you're shooting during the day or at night. Um, this is really good during the day. I haven't really gotten any good footage from nighttime, but it is possible. Um, but yeah, I got the DJI Fly More, or the uh, Fly More combo. So that's what we'll be reviewing here. And I love this drone. It's got a lot of power to it. It can fly up to 60 kilometers per hour, which is quite quick. And uh, it can accelerate up to five meters per second. It has a sports mode, a normal mode, and a cinematic mode. So you have three different options there if you want to fly it quickly and get some quick looking shots uh, you can even put this in a 1080p 60 frames per second for more of those quick moving scenes uh, there's many different options um, it comes also with a quick shots which is like five different pre-built shots that it'll do which is one of them is circle there's a helix that goes around it uh, rocket which goes straight up and then the droney selfie one that goes backwards so very common drone uh, shots that you see are actually from the DJI Mini's cinematic uh, quick shots because they're just so easy to do and the AI does it all for you. So if you're, let's say, doing a shot of a house and you want to get a nice 360 of it, you'll fly it up to your desired height and then just select it on the screen and let it fly around 360 and you get your video. You don't even have to think about it because doing all the correct combinations to move it around the in a circle is not really easily possible unless you're professional. So a robot, the AI is able to do it perfectly. Not to say that you shouldn't be taking a lot of manual shots moving around and learning techniques, but this makes it easy for beginners to get started with drone photography and videography. So I have the bag that the Flymore combo comes with, and it's actually a really nice bag. It's, um, it's a fake leather here. It's got a zipper on the front, and then inside you get the drone controller and the batteries, which I love the battery pack. It has the three intelligent batteries there and you can charge this and charge the batteries, but you can also use this as a battery pack. So if you're on the go and need to charge up a different camera, you can use the battery pack in this. So it's kind of useful. This will also charge up your iPhones or Android phone. So very nice. You can put in a memory card in there or it can also send it through Wi-Fi, but I recommend having the memory card in there and a good high capacity, fast uh, memory card or else it won't record 4K, but you can do the 1080 with like a lower class one. Um, just depends what you want to shoot. I like shooting with the 4K because it has amazing shots and I'm going to include at the end of this video a bunch of shots that I took with this drone and uh, you just see how very nice the picture quality looks and the lighting and everything. So yeah, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'd give the DJI Mini 2, the Fly More combo, I give that an 8.5 out of 10. It's really good in terms of value because you're getting three batteries, which last 31 minutes each. And a lot of the other drones out there have much lower capacity batteries that drain much quicker and they don't have the good health. Uh, these ones are intelligent batteries, so they'll drain off the battery periodically so that you don't lose max capacity from this because it's very crucial in this. 31 minutes is like a pretty good amount of time for flight, but DJI does it very well. So yeah, and I'll include some drone videos here just so that you can see. And yeah, thank you for watching.